Hi, I'm Anne Moon uh, from the University of Oslo. I am presenting on the topic of GLANS, where we are using the HL7 Fire International Patient Summary to highlight key information elements in medication leaflets. Uh, we are a European five-year uh, long project, uh, and our mission is to bring innovative digital health information tools to patients and empower person-centered healthcare. We want also to offer uh, tools and strategies uh, driving transformation to a new paradigm offering more personalized uh, health focused health information for me. So let me start by introducing uh, you to Maria, a typical person taking a lot of medications and um, to our core question, which is how can we apply an open access digital platform with trusted health digital health information to transform the way patients like Maria access and understand health information and apply this in personal health for adherence to treatment, risk minimization and quality of life. So I started to tell you about Maria. Maria is a typical older person with uh, a lot of medications, uh, quite sophisticated treatment regime. In fact, uh, Maria has um, 12 uh, prescribed medications that she takes during the day. And she also has one or two over the counter uh, medications. You can see her here in the pictures. Uh, the first picture shows where she shows, holds up her paper based uh, medication list that tells her or show gives her an overview of the medication that she's been prescribed and that she's taking. It tells her about the frequency and the route of administration, the and uh, also some keywords or some um, key elements or key information about the medication, what it's for, what how to take it, or if there are any changes. And if you look very carefully, you will see that there are also some, scri uh, some scribbles on the paper explaining that uh, paper give or pointing to the fact that paper gives just a snapshot in time and it's not really scalable. You also see her with uh, an example of a uh, medic medicinal product information sheet. This is uh, typically the fine print. Uh, it has a lot of information of different types for different purposes. And uh, generally, it's, um, it doesn't really have a very good usability and, and uh, doesn't really bring about a, a nice and um, good uh, user experience. Um, for Gravitate Health, where we are uh, working with the concept of the G-Lens, we are um, looking at uh, this regulator approved um, medication or product information. We are taking advantage of and collaborating uh, to some extent with the European Medicine Agency, who uh, as an organization is currently launching a electronic uh, uh, paper or moving and going digital and uh, presenting, preparing a, a HS7 fire-based standard for the uh, uh, for the uh, product information, wanting it to become one document and wanting it to become and be distributed digitally. We also, uh, in order to uh, give a more uh, personal health relevance. We are working with uh, information from the electronic health record and with health education material to ensure that you also have a broader picture and more specific information about the products. Uh, we all know that the uh, electronic health record is quite can be quite voluminous. Uh, it can also uh, have a lot of information that was important at one point in time, but may not be as important today as, or some of the information may be more for, for review and for historical purposes. Since the fact 
that the electronic health record is an accumulated aggregate or in this, it's an accumulated uh, repository and a repository of accumulated health information and information from health encounters over time so we have taken uh, and are working with the international patient summary which is a, a health record extract uh, that gives you um, key information for um, about an um, extract from the electronic health record. It has an international scope uh, to support cross-border care and be quite um, designed for unscheduled care in case you something happened to you while uh, while you're traveling or while you're in another country or at home, but it is the fact that it has uh, for un unplanned care makes it also more succinct. Uh, we are in order to develop this more personalized experience, uh, starting with the international uh, patient summary that gives uh, an overview of the health situation and the personal data when you need them. We are taking uh, elements like the medication list, allergies, conditions, precautions, therapy plans, but also uh, personal preferences, outcomes, goals, and personality and context into account given uh, mindful of what the patient themselves or the user themselves would disclose. But with these elements, it's it will be possible to focus information in the package leaflet, in the product information, to uh, focus and really highlight information that's important is there an interaction to pay attention to is there something you should be cautious about in terms of allergies or other conditions is this a new medication is it um, something that you have used over and over uh, all these factors um, contributes to focus information and give um, give uh, access to information that are presumably more uh, relevant or more useful for the situation at hand. And of course, this is uh, for the purpose of orienting and being able to better navigate and make good choices about personal health. We have already taken the first steps to focus information in the GLANS. We have participated in and will continue to do so in fire connectatons, where we are taking testing scenarios like Maria, put them to work, and are collaborating with uh, partners that join these connectatons to explore the uh, upcoming standards and what the, res the fire resources can do for us and that how the fire resources can work to, to uh, improve or to improve the focusing mechanisms. So on that note, I would um, invite you to join us. You can sign up for our newsletter. You can follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn, or you can reach out to, to me uh, for more questions. Thank you.